A distant, violent, unnatural storm hangs like a demon over the necropolis, its rage hell-bent on destruction. A diminutive gecko wiles the morning away on top of a towering necropolis wall, a dark, ruinous crack, a vast crevasse compared to this itty-bitty lizard, splayed out beneath him. The earth trembles as a warband of giants emerge from the dark recess into the Fey Cemetery. It wasn't me. Cast iron guarantee. I'm not a betrayer. Normally. You blaming the shovel, the witch, or the skull? It was Bran. He compelled me to speak, and I spoke. Ugh, Fomorian bastard. The power of Bran compels you. Like that? Like an exorcist thing? Gods naturally possess the gift of exhortation. Choke on my bag of heads. By heaven's high, will compelled from shore to shore. You're repeating yourself, sister. Trying to plagiarize something fresh? Ugh. Impossibly. I do not plagiarize. Imitate, perhaps, on occasion. It is the sincerest form of flattery. How did that get here? Cunning Vedma? All eyes widen in horror as they lift and follow the pointing finger to Orthivab's shack, somehow in the midst of the Fey Cemetery. Um, do you think that she devil's at home? Not likely, unless that vampire is practicing onanism. Know what I mean? No. Please refrain from explaining. Where's Tenacious? Shouldn't he be here? Maybe he is. Do you hear that? This feels like a trap. Or a trap for Earthy Fob set by Tenacious. Let's see. What is this? It means this area has safety or health concerns. Enter, but proceed with caution. Essence of tenacious. I'd wild shape into a dog, but we don't have the budget. You'll just have to enjoy this. What? Is it the Guardian? Listen. Celtic throat singing? No, you nitwit. Don't you recognize spell weaving? Tenacious. Is that you down there? <sighs> Come on. Let's go inside. Oh, 
body is here. I feel it. Come to me. Oh. Archibald, take me to my body. Do as I command. Now! Keeps him apart. I know how this story ends. Brand Skull! Yes. yes! Archie? Deliver me, Archibald Ashtooth. My champion. Fulfill your duty. Archibald! Don't do it! Beatrice, baby, do something! What the hell am I supposed to use? Harsh language? I give all that I possess. Honor, status, distinction, influence, power over life and death. And the greatest of these I accept! Smash Skull! Why? I could have given you... Because I want my life back. And the lives of my friends. Archibald, are you okay? You're, uh, missing your, uh, your shovel there, buddy. Uh, better than I've been. I can't say the same for Tenacious. In the corner, elongated white phantom specters separate from the green smoke. They circle Tenacious, hissing as they tug, scratch, and claw, determined to pull him bodily into the cauldron. If Tenacious dies, we're screwed. Come on, you bastard. Move! Someone got a better option? A good plan violently executed now is better than a perfect plan executed next week. Finally! Speaking like a true sword. The three phantoms screech madly and <laughs> fly at our heroes. <laughs> Saoirse wades into the phantom <laughs> menace like a boss. <laughs> Phantom slips past Saoirse's defenses with chilling, elongated fingers raking her skin. The warrior freezes, <laughs> paralyzed by his chilling touch. Saoirse! Bahati sends the offending Phantom fleeing back into the cauldron with a thunderous, shalala heightened blow. <sighs> you okay? Saoirse nods, letting her halberd do the talking, the pole singing in arcs and thrusts. Bahati joins her friend, the staff singing deadly harmony. A few feet distant, Archibald and Cass hold nothing in reserve. All options are on the table. It's weak of the Phoenix! Can we get that dumb bird to help us? What if you insult it? The... Phoenix reminds us of the cleansing qualities of fire and invites us to reduce our old life to ashes that we may start anew. We have to destroy the dead that we may live, oh great and mighty Phoenix who died and rose from the ashes! That was pitiful. What? Brevity, my friend. The real art of speaking is to use as few words as possible. The last phantom's grip on this plane evaporates and it's gone. What do we do? Huh? Can you make out what he's saying? Let me listen. I am fluent in six million forms of trash talking. Something about purification? We, oui, I believe, he wishes us to purify Le Pot. And how do we do that? Locate Essence of White Lotus in the Witch's Potion Stores. Oh. 
I got it. Is that it? I think so. Wait. A dose of White Lotus is worth more than most minor kingdoms. Maybe being dead, but rich isn't such a bad trade-off. Are you kidding me? I lost a hand! You could buy another one. I'd rather be alive. Oh, what a crime. You just poured out a hundred thousand gold sovereigns. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You mind explaining just what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. uh, about that. I noticed Orthy Vob involved in a firefight. I gambled, pilfered her house, brought it here. Why? Yeah, why? Because she's a witch, and witches have secrets. Skeleton in the cupboard, so to speak. Really? That sounds like some poetic bullshit. Fine. You might as well know the truth. After I promised to return you back to life, I realized I couldn't. However... You lie, figures. Whoa. What? Relax. My word carries a copper bottom guarantee of accuracy. I have a plan. Blow the gaff. Get. Yeah. Blow it. This naughty kitchen utensil, if you must know, it once belonged to the lineage of Fomorian kings, said to be capable of resurrecting the bodies of dead soldiers. Only soldiers, eh? Well, Archibald, I guess you're ficked. <laughs> ha ha. That's an interesting tale, but how do you conjure life from this thing? Well, just as you would expect, you drink from it. Wait, what? No. Mm uh-huh, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no way. The brew has been purified, but we still have a problem. This mechanical marvel is finicky and has rejected any attempts to remove the brew. What, you're saying we're going to lap from it with our tongues like dogs? I can do that. Not helping. I have just the tool. First, we eat. Then we do everything else. Cass's ladle! I'll be the guinea pig. Oh no, you don't! Cass's ladle! I killed Brand Dealer's Choice! Oh. Don't you hit me! Give me the. I, I, I'm only using one hand! Gross. I'll decide who goes first. But to here, can he just. Do you mind? Double, double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. For a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble. <laughs> Toss. It is your ladle. <laughs> Me ladle. Powerful ladle it is. <laughs> powerful ladle. No, 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 wait. What about the shovel? What? What about it? It's the shovel of the dead. You can't just let it lie around, especially in a witch's lair. He's right. Once we're alive, there'll be no moving it. I <laughs> am your pallbearer. Redono! Hey, folks. I was just in the neighborhood and heard you needed someone to disappear a shovel of the dead. Who are you, sir? He gave us the skull! Come on! Hmm? Where have you been? He's a vampire. Vampire adjacent. Uh, looks are often misleading. And what are you going to do with it? The shovel, I mean. I am the cleaner. I make problems disappear. That's a powerful spoon, friend. By my calculation, you and your master owe us a favor. <laughs> favor. <laughs> I gave you the skull, favor fulfilled. 
Your master tried to steal my pendant. And failed. What's to stop him from trying again? Nothing, of course, but he's lost interest. I shall tell him this shovel <laughs> nope. destroyed the skull. More than a fair trade, hmm? And if your master fails against the witch, what then? She'll come here. She, I come after us, come after you. Brig Thwinna imprisoned Ordifab within the necropolis. The skull was her ticket out. She will not be coming after anyone. But still, I suggest we dispose of this place. Somewhere she can't find it. And where would that be? A place of forgetting. We, oui, quite so. Turnaround is fair play after all. For 200 years, my master was forcibly imprisoned in the Oubliette. But how? Master Wizard, you brought this place here, yes? Is it in your power to send it away? If I were to give you the coordinates, hmm? I know your game. I guess this is it. Hot oh, damn. Am I ever looking forward to a bath? Oh. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to that same bath mm. with you. <laughs> Get a room. Oh, we will. Oh, mm. uh, for the record, our wizard contract states I shall resurrect you in exchange for the skull of one Brennan Hall Bran. I don't see a skull. We could sweep the dust up, I suppose. <laughs> I had you going there. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> Dick move, man. Tenacious by name. Oh my god! It's... It's... Actually kind of nice. Smooth. Baby, daddy needs a new hand. He's right and smooth. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Be careful what you do with that brother. You'll go blind. I owed you that. Together, forever. We have just one last thing remaining. I'll be sure to put this to good use. I wonder who won, Verkolicus or Orthifab? I think they call it lesser evilism. But which, which one is lesser? The dead rarely stay dead. Brig Thwinna is still an agitator causing mischief. But at least, for now, 
Ortibab will not be raising an undead army. Life is precious. Best not squander it. Ooh. What now? Graver's dig, get a bath. <laughs> I need a beer. Ooh. Beatrice, you coming with us? Oui, monsieur. I have gotten used to your voices. Oh, well, maybe after a short holiday we can help you find your boat. Would you like to hear a poem?